The Danish Kickstarter project Zipack has since its release almost two years ago been showcased numerous places including high profile YouTube channels like Matthias and Unbox Theory. Alright. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the newest incarnation of Zipack, the Zipack Zen, was backed on Kickstarter in less than 6 hours. And it comes in both an aluminium version and a carbon version, where the original was made of plastic. I was a backer of the original Zipack, and I actually still have one left that I never got to unbox. So let's have a look at what's inside the box while we wait for the new incarnation to hit the market. What is this? Tell us, goddammit! Is it dangerous? It's a chair. Is this supposed to be a chair? Do I look stupid? It's too light to be a chair. This is a chair. If you like to get better insights before you go out and buy your gadgets and consumer electronics, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also if you like these unbox videos and want more of them, give us a thumbs up because then we'll know that this is the way to go. So here it is, the sit pack, the world's most compact foldable seat. I also have an extra foot which is in Kickstarter green to match my blue zip pack. All right, let's open. Here are the instructions folded around the zip pack. There are some usage instructions right here. There's a QR code for the instruction video and all the instructions you need in order to get to use your zip pack. And that's it. The zip pack works this way. You unfold it, you extend it and you twist it. And now everything is locked into place. This is too tall for you. You can shorten one piece, just one piece. And this will allow it to still be strong enough to hold you. So, what is my verdict of the sit pack? It's quite light and it's quite easy to use. It's portable, it's easy to unfold and it's ready to use in seconds. At first it feels a little uncomfortable. And you have to get over a point where you, where you worry about will it break, will it be able to hold me, will it slide? And you can't help worrying about this the first couple of try times you try it, but then after a while you get to know it and you get to trust it. I must admit though that I haven't really used it that many times. I've had it for one and a half years and I think I brought it with me just twice. But then again, I'm not really that outdoorsy type, so I guess I'm not in the target group for this one. But the sheer numbers of baggers for both the original Zipack and the upcoming Zipack Zen shows that there really is a market for this thing. And looking at the specifications for the Zipack Zen, it looks like they have solved some of the issues that were with the original one, like using stronger materials makes it a lot easier for the user to trust it. And the new seat looks a lot more comfortable than the old plastic seat. Do you already own a Zipack or did you back the new Zipack Zen? Tell us in the comments below and also let us know what you use it for. But until next time, Stay frosty people and see ya!